What are some aspects of her that you would have loved to explore, explore further if you'd had six, seven, eight seasons to, to play her? That's a good question. I think I would really enjoy... Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Ms. Mendez, good to see you again. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so well. Congratulations on this. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I want to start out with just the idea of talking to strangers on the plane. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't love it, but it's cool because no one really wants to talk to me. But I am sort of curious, what are your rules? Like, are you okay with people saying hello? Would you rather be left alone? Because honestly, you could be trapped in a conversation for hours if you're not careful. Yeah, that's a... Smart observation. I definitely, um, I'm, I'm not one for small talk, really. And I don't mind when people come up to me and, and say hi, but I definitely am a little bit more reserved than I let on. Because the problem of someone doing it on a plane is that it then signals to everyone else on the plane. Like you get the like 30 people turning around to see exactly well, who is that person. Yeah. So just for anyone watching, casual hello, good to see you. And then keep yeah. moving. We did it. <laughs> Love that. Um, so much of this movie is about, honestly, I think what I do every day, which is just fake it till you make it. It's just over-exaggerating sometimes yeah. what it is that you have a capability of doing. As an actor, I guess, how often do you need to do that? Like in your times when you would audition, what's the most you ever exaggerated a skill or maybe just straight up lied about one? I can't say that I've ever lied about one, but I definitely think more so, you know, off screen. I, I wouldn't say it plays a role in my acting, but I definitely... Feel like to be an actor you kind of do have to fake it till you make it and you know you have to have that sort of star mentality and and um and really have the confidence to convince people that that you're worthy so i think um it plays more of a role in that way well also too like you know you're an actor and you play so many different varieties of roles like you can't possess every single skill that every single role would i mean that's that's I'd imagine part of why you're an actor, right? Like you, totally. you act like you do. You have to, you have to also be forgiving of yourself. You know, you can't, you're not perfect and you can't do everything. For sure. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, so many people base their, at least I did growing up, base their perception of love or their idea of love, uh, of what they want their relationships to be on movies that they watch growing up. Like so many people are waiting for like their notebook storyline to play out in real life. But I want to know, I guess if that ever happens with actors, like have you ever played on a plot line that then affected your perception of real life? Or have you ever learned life lessons from your own characters in a way? I think so. I, I would hope that I do because I, I've, you know, I was on Riverdale for seven years and my character went through all sorts of things on that show. And I think there's definitely a lot of, um, you know, romantic storylines and, and, you know, parental storylines that I think are valuable to learn from. You mentioned Riverdale. Obviously, you have experience in both film and television. And I think one of the biggest differences being the amount of time that you get to spend with the character and dive into them. Yeah. If you had had seasons or years with with Anna, like you did with Veronica on Riverdale, what are some aspects of her that you would have loved to explore, explore further if you'd had six, seven, eight seasons to, to play her? That's a good question. I think I would really enjoy, you know, seeing what her life is like um, once she's kind of, well, I don't want to give away spoilers, but <laughs> I'd love to see a continuation of the ending. You know, I think we get a very short glimpse of, uh, her future life and I would love to kind of see how, see the follow through of that. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.